All right, recording has started. Hey, I think we're just waiting for Sean or Tim, right? Oh, there we go. Morning, everybody. We have, we have looks like we have everybody here to get started. <clears throat> all right. Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> all Tim, right. Mr. Brett, oh. What's that? I was going to ask if everybody could see the spreadsheet. Oh, yep, I can see it. Yes. All right, this is the mayor manager meeting for July 17, 2024. Um, I'm Mayor Pro Tim, Joe Anderson, and here in the meeting with me are um, City Manager Sean Lewis, uh, Executive Assistant Krista Gravy, and um, City Clerks. We have Jackie McKinnon, Stephanie Carlisle, uh, City Attorney Tamara Niles, and uh, and City Clerk um, Office Sarah as well. Welcome to the meeting. Sean, you want to kick us off? Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, for July 22nd, we've got the US 285 Broadway Interchange Reconstruction Project status um, decision. Uh, this has uh, got times assigned. You're out your uh, energy project and financials review. Also looks good. Recognition of 2024 City of Inglewood interns first or first reading rather of a Parks and Rec bond um, decision for November election. First reading of an assignment to City and County of Denver for the City of Inglewood private activity bond allocation. Uh, first reading for the uh, intergovernmental agreement with the City of Littleton for a shared green business program. Second reading for request for city ditch license agreement consent to assignment of lease. IGA with Arapahoe County for emergency management services. That'll be second reading and will it should be on consent. Uh, second reading for a new an ordinance to set new development impact fees. <coughs> uh, revisions to council policies regarding public comment and other matters. Uh, second quarter strategic plan update. And then city staff seeking approval to apply for state of Colorado energy efficiency and conservation block grant. Any questions on those? Looks like that one's got a question about consent. Yeah, that's the that's a state grant. So that's not CBDG grants. That's something different. Right. Okay. That I'm not familiar with with that, right? So maybe that shouldn't go on consent. OK, and then did I miss any other consent questions, Jackie? I believe that was everything. I think we've gotten them taken care of. Or wait, um, I'm guessing all well, the first bond, the uh, Taylor right. ballot will go via no consent. Right. I think we're good. All right. Let's do and are there any questions? Oh, one more question on that. The. Um, let's see. Which one was it? The private activity bonds. Was there yes. any qu question on that with regard to staff, you know, staff's opinion on whether we want to do that or potentially utilize those in a different way? Is that going to be a part of that discussion? Or? Uh, um, yes, I with both the mayor and the director of community development out. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is put both options that you and I talked about yesterday yeah. um, on there as um, two different options. So I'll talk to Tamara about how to handle that. For okay. Group, we got another um, potential project yesterday that's local as opposed to this Denver project. So we may, uh, we we'll probably need to give council the, the option on that. Okay. Well, I'll, we'll take care of that today. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right, moving on to the first meeting in August, August the 5th, we will have uh, approval of the 2025 collective bargaining agreement um, between the city and the EPBA. We have also will have the um, EEA, Inglewood Employee Association, and both of those have questions about consent. Thoughts on that, Mayor Pro Tem? Um. <clears throat> I don't recall that we put those on consent in the past. I feel like we have. 
I think we uh, have, and I don't think there's anything, there's anything too earth shattering in these. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with consent on those. Okay. Um, and then we'll have the SIPA um, eligible government ag entity agreement first reading. I'm not familiar with the oh, statewide internet portal. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is a statewide grant for IT related. Are you, what are your that, thoughts on consent there? That that seems like it could go on consent. Okay. Um, we'll have second reading for an amendment or um, ordinance for an amendment to the IGA for um, home investment, the home and uh, consortium agreement between Arapahoe County and the city of Inglewood. I think that is already on consent. We do have an executive session slated for um, this meeting. We may have to push that. Um, we're still waiting to hear from one of the city center partners. Okay. We've got a bu budget advisory um, for study session. The two study sessions will have budget advisory committee annual report and then the. OK, yeah, and that's the that's board that's the August the only one. Right. OK. All that looks good to me. <clears throat> All right, moving on to August the 12th. Um, we will have a few study sessions, draft proposed 2025 operating and capital budget. Um, it's June 2024 monthly financial report. Presentation on home rule uh, authority and Inglewood Arts mid-year report. Moving okay. on to August 19th, executive yep. session, annual performance uh, for the city manager, city attorney, uh, um, contract for MV transportation for expanded shuttle service and vehicle purchase, ordinance to approve funding agreement for RTD funding of local transportation services for Inglewood in the amount of 900,000. First reading of Santa Fe park easements and agreements, city ditch, Contract renewal for distribution and collection um, parts, electrical instrumentation uh, and, and control contract renewals, motion to approve settlement agreement with American Striping Harvey Construction, ordinance providing for forfeiture of vehicles used in organized drag racing events. Looks good. All right, August 26th, right of way um, code potential revisions to protect citizens and drivers. South Broadway Public Realm um, Action Plan, monthly financial report for July, and the City of Inglewood Age Friendly Plan. It looks like that's all we've got plugged in. Um, Jackie, do we have any of the parking lot items um, here? I mean, on this list? Or maybe we don't have any right now. We may not have transferred over on that. Sarah's out at a conference this week, so we can may be able to pull up a past one. Sorry about that. That's all right. Maybe I can um, unshare and if you want me to pull one up real quick, see if I can find it. Yeah, let's do that. The um, we had one that we actually had a couple of staff members go back and listen to the um, recording yesterday, and I don't know, Stephanie, if you or Tim can give that one. It was it was related to the water and sewer board and the fact that that um, there are some questions that we may want to have the water and sewer board weigh in on. I, I actually need to follow up with member Russell because we didn't quite understand the question. Um, but if anybody wants to expound on that, feel free. If not, um, the council request that we had. Um, oh, go ahead. I think, Sean, uh, that it has to do with on um, the new contract thresholds and whether or not um, advisory commissions and boards to council, such as the water board, should formally weigh in on contracts, I think, that are in the 125 to 1 to 250 category. I'm not exactly sure of that category, but I think it had to do with weighing, with whether uh, boards and commissions should weigh in on contracts. OK, great. Thank you. Um, in terms of council requests, we have um, several. Uh, last week, extreme heat in the region. Could we um, understand why the library was closed for an in-service day? Can there be a community member group set up to for standard operating procedures to make sure that cooling heating centers are in place? Um, 
Uh, we have a uh, third, we have a new prosecutor municipal court it used to be the court navigator. Um, as their clients may have shared information, they would not share with the prosecutor. Could there be conflict of interest? I received a call about ADA ramps um, and there is water standing there in the winter time. This could be icy. How does the city work with um, the company to um, correct these problems? Could we look into adding a stop sign at Sherman and Old Hamden? Uh, six, could uh, there are groups of 30 to 50 motorbikes, that, uh, mini bikes that go down Broadway making noise and speeding. Can staff look into enforcement? Rent on August 1st will be 85% of um, a traditions resident. And we have an agreement with that organization for tax exempt status. Can we look into this relationship and revoke that status um, if rents continue to go up? E-bikes can go up to 35 miles per hour. Do they follow the same laws as bicycles or vehicles? And that's, okay. someone else may have gotten another one, but that's what I got. Sean, on the conflict of interest for the court prosecutor, I answered the question at the meeting, so it shouldn't be input as a council request. Okay. I'll take that one off. Mayor, Mayor Pritchum, I think that's all we've got. Okay, I don't have anything more. Um, I have the vacant or the parking lot up here if you want to look at it. Oh, great. Thanks, Jackie. Um, vacant just, buildings and retirement boards. Okay. Yeah, we do have vacant buildings um, getting ready to come to you all. So that should be in August. We'll get that slated. And we're actually going to do that as a study session first, then bring it as first reading. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Thank you all. Anything else from? Staff, city manager, city attorney, clerks. I don't have anything. All right. That uh, concludes our mayor manager meeting. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Great.